James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 19th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. The mystery of the 28-day reoccurring huge coronal holes and storms. For some reason, huge coronal holes that are earth-facing are forming every 28 days and push heavy solar winds directly at our planet. These winds are very fast and they're tearing our atmosphere up. Obviously, no good. We all know that most of our atmosphere is weakening and or barely there and that we have several holes in our atmosphere currently. So these winds are taking their toll on what's left of our atmosphere. This has happened in February, March, April, and now again in May. I will show y'all the last couple of cycles here. Although one would quickly think the moon had something to do with this per the 28-day cycle, that does not appear to be the case. I will also show you the different positions the moon has been in when these coronal holes have formed. Currently, our moon is on our incoming limb here, or flanked over at a 90 degree angle. Noah, we currently have another large coronal hole or hole in our sun's atmosphere. Minor G1 class geomagnetic storms are possible for the next three days, May 19th through May 21st, as Earth passes through a wide stream of high-speed solar wind. The gaseous material is flowing from a huge hole in the sun's atmosphere, which stretches across most of the sun's southern hemisphere, as seen here. The millions of kilometer wide structure is shown in this extreme ultraviolet image from NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory. Wow. All my subscribers know that this is a coronal hole that produces solar winds, not plasma. A region in the sun's atmosphere where the magnetic fields have opened up, allowing solar wind to escape. Coronal holes look dark because hot glowing gas normally contained there is missing. In this case, it's en route to Earth. We've seen this curl hole before, approximately every 28 days since February. I'm going to show it to you in March, April. This again is May's right here. It has been spinning around with the sun, emitting a stream of material akin to a giant sprinkler. The stream encountered was particularly effective in March when it sparked strong geomagnetic storms and auroras across many of the northern tier U.S. states. So, based on how honest NOAA and NASA really are to us, the only way we really know how strong the geomagnetic storm hitting Earth is, is by really using Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis and seeing how far that radiation is visible at night i.e. how far down from the North Pole and how far up from the South Pole are these auroras going to be visible tonight and on going through the 21st. Now, this is how it looked in March right here. A very large coronal hole, although the one we have this month is larger. This is how it looked exactly 28 days ago. One also has to assume this is the same coral hole getting larger and larger. Again, this was April, and y'all have seen today, which looks horrific. Black hole sun. All right, folks, please share our video. Please subscribe if you haven't. And always remember, anything's possible in bizarro world. Look at this sunspot coming around the limb.